Senna. Pals. You know, as a kid, the Beverly Hills Cop theme song was actually one of my favorite songs. I loved it as much as like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles theme song or anything else that was a famous song back then. I haven't seen Beverly Hills Cop 3. I don't remember Beverly Hills Cop 2 at all. And it's been years since I've seen part one. If you guys want a reaction to any of those on this channel, do let us know in the comments below, please. What is going on, everyone? I'm Jabby Kawei, and we're gonna look at Beverly Hills Cop Axel F. So if you haven't done so already, do me a huge favor, please hit that subscribe button, bell icon, and all notifications so you get notified when we drop the next video, and vote this up if you could be so kind. Okie dokie, let's jump into this. Thank you, Netflix, for uh, igniting my nostalgia again today. I almost admire you. Still on these streets. Running and cutting. I'm just amazed. Doesn't get to you. Oh, that song is so dope. <laughs> oh, okay. Watch your ass out there, okay? I'm gonna be fine. They love me in Beverly Hills. Detective Foley, you ever read your own file? Oh, JGL? A lot. Please tell me you didn't get arrested again. Twice, but I broke out. God dang. We put our lives on the line. Every day. And for what? Comes with the job if you're doing it right. Yeah, babe! So how many people have you pissed off so far? Well, I haven't pissed off anybody. Oh, yeah, I was like, okay, is, is he in the movie or not? So far, yeah. wow. They got both of them. Okay, I have lots of feelings. So um, this obviously looks like a lot of fun, and it's great to see Eddie Murphy reprise a role like this, an action film. We haven't seen Eddie Murphy, as far as I can tell, do an action film in quite a long time. What made Beverly Hills Cop so fun, at least the first one, was the dynamic of Eddie Murphy and the straight-laced, you know, normal, uh, tightwad, not a tightwad, but you know what I mean? Like the normal cop, the guy who is more um, prim and proper compared to Eddie Murphy, who's more loosey goosey and doesn't play by the rules. That kind of combination was fun. It seems to me that most of the film is Eddie Murphy on his own. That's a little bit disappointing to see, but I do love the idea that Eddie Murphy is back in the, in the driver's seat for this kind of movie, you know? And I mean, it looks like uh, Netflix. They spent that, uh, ho, 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 they spent that Netflix money. This is one of the better looking uh, action films that I've seen from Netflix, honestly. The Gray Man, or whatever it was called, with Ryan Gosling and Chris Evans. That was a big budget action film, but you could tell, like, it didn't have the same quality as, like, something you'd see at the cinema. In terms of an action film, you know what I mean? Because the, the, the CGI looked a little bit ropey sometimes in, in The Gray Man. Here, this looks like something you could see at the theater, and it has that quality to it between like the helicopter and the trucks and the busting into the mansion and all that. Like, it looks like they really spent their money on this one. And as it stands, uh, you know, five hours, it's already at 1.5 million views. And that for Netflix is actually pretty good. That's a good turnout, which I'm actually delighted to see that there's a huge turnout because I love Eddie Murphy in this role. I, I think it's awesome that he's reprising it all these years later. There's as much distance potentially between Beverly Hills Cop 3 and not as much, but like Beverly Hills Cop 3 and, and, um, and Top Gun is what I was going to compare it to. This has been so many years. I mean, when the first one, at the very least, the Beverly Hills Cop release date, the first one came out in 84. So pretty darn close because I think Top Gun was 83. I'm not 100% on, or maybe 85. It's one of those. The third one came out in 94. That's still a lot of time. Goodness me. That's 30 years. Holy smokes. Now, the other thing, you know, that we ha have yet to see is... The comedy. This was more focused on Eddie Murphy's back. There's a there's like one haha in the trailer, but it is mostly like Eddie Murphy's back in this role, and there's a lot of action. I didn't see a banana go into a tailpipe. I didn't see any silly jokes like that that you know aren't special and part of the first film. Yeah, maybe that would be too much. Like, hey, remember when we 
when we did that in the first movie, we're doing it again here. You know, I guess that maybe they're trying to avoid that. Yeah, this feels more of like just an action film with Eddie Murphy. Nonetheless, it's on Netflix. I have a Netflix subscription. I'm looking forward to this and I am more than happy to do a reaction to this movie. If it's in theaters, you know, I would actually not mind watching this in theaters. It's just cool to see him do this role again. I've never got to, I don't remember if I got to see Beverly Hills Cop in theaters because I was too young. In fact, there's no way I could have seen it in theaters. I was, I don't even think I was born yet <laughs> when this came out. We got a lot of like fun, familiar faces in this movie that uh, like JGL, I always wonder like, where is JGL? What is he up to? Is he having coffee? Like, what? what is he doing now? You know, he never got his Robin movie and he never will. It's sad. Even though it wasn't evidenced, I'm gonna, I'm just retreading ground a little bit here. Even though it wasn't evidenced in the trailer, IMDB is showing that uh, Judge Reinhold is like number two billing, at least as far as this cast goes. I don't know if that's indicative of anything, but if he is number two and that is indicative of something, that means he has a more substantial role in the film than the trailer's letting on, which would be awesome. That would actually make me quite happy if that's the case. We have Kevin Bacon. Um, so Kevin Bacon's always fun to see. I just watched him in uh, Tremors recently. And of course, the Guardians of the Galaxy Christmas special. And then Paul Reiser, who I was first uh, introduced to through a show called Mad About You before I saw him in the Alien uh, Saga. But uh, it's great to see him back. Uh, he was also, he's also in my favorite film, Whiplash. So if you guys haven't seen Whiplash yet, you should definitely check that out. It's worthwhile. I would love to know from you guys in the comments how many of you guys actually watched the first three films, or at least the first film? How many of you guys have seen Beverly Hills Cop? Or did you just click on the Beverly Hills Cop trailer out of curiosity because it had so many views or because you like Eddie Murphy? I would love to know. This isn't the first time that Eddie Murphy has worked with Netflix, as far as I know. I, I think he did um, Dolomite Is My Name. You know, Netflix is interesting. They tend to develop these relationships with people and they tend to be good relationships. Like I know Bill Burr has released multiple specials on, on Netflix and as well as Dave Chappelle. And so, you know, Dolomite is my name was, if you haven't seen that yet, that's a fun movie. And it's based on a true story. It's akin to another film that came out years ago called Badass, but it's like a long name, like Badass. Um, I never knew how to read it. I didn't know you were supposed to just say badass. It's a similar thing set in a similar era, if you're familiar with that title. You know, it's you're dealing with the, the, the beginnings of black exploitation. Eddie Murphy killed it in that role, and it was so awesome to see him let loose and be himself without any reservations in a comedic role like that. Up until recently, you know, the things that I was recalling him doing is like the kitty, you know, movies, the more uh, family friendly films. So to see him come back to something like that was super fun. Not in the same vein, but you know, Beverly Hills Cop is a totally different thing, but it's still speaking to, you know, what I was introduced to with Eddie Murphy, which is, I guess the more grown up material is the easiest way to put it. I just noticed one more name that was worth mentioning. I don't know if I'm already getting comments about it. The actor Bronson Pinchot, I'm probably saying his name incorrectly, is back. He was in Beverly Hills Cop, the first one. And so they brought him back, I'm assuming for a cameo. He was in the art gallery scene from the first film. That is cool. They brought back so many faces. Oh, the nostalgia. The nostalgia bait is so cool. Um, for this one, at least, I'm enjoying this. I'm very happy. Okay, you guys, thanks so much for hanging. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Let me know your feelings in the comments below. Are you... Are you, are you, did you have a good time with this trailer or are you irritated? Let me know your feelings, all of them. I'm Jabby Kawai. Peace out.